last time we looked at the link between thoughts, feelings and actions. Today we're going to look a little bit more at those thoughts and in particular automatic negative thoughts or ants for short and what we can do to challenge these thoughts when they come. There are 10 main types of ants, such as catastrophizing. So when we make a mistake and we blow it out of proportion. All or nothing thinking. Emotional reasoning, using how we feel to decide the reality and discounting anything positive, to name but just a few of them. We can't switch off our ants and actually it would be potentially dangerous for us to do that. It would be like having no smoke alarm in the house or the building we live in. So if there is an actual fire, how would we ever know to get out? The problem is without catching and challenging our ants on a regular basis, we believe the building is on fire when it's actually just a burnt piece of toast. To start catching your own ants, it can be really useful to use the ABC Thought Diary. We can start to recognise situations that trigger our ants and how these make us feel and what our actions are. Once we realise these patterns, we can challenge our automatic smoke alarm response and come up with new rational beliefs. For example, the situation is an exam. My negative automatic thought is, I am rubbish at this, I'm going to fail. Then I begin to feel anxious, panicked and ashamed. I feel sick and my heart races. And then my mind goes blank or I get up and leave the room. Whilst it's perfectly natural to feel some anxiety sitting on exam, it's my irrational automatic thought about myself which is causing me to react so badly. In reality, I don't know how the exam may go, and it may not be my best subject, but if I believe I'm rubbish, then guess what? It probably will come true. It's kind of strange, because I would never say this to a friend, and yet we tend to be so much more unkind and irrational when we speak to ourselves. So, here are some useful questions to challenge your ants when they occur. What am I reacting to? Is this belief I have a fact or an opinion? And am I really sure about that? What is the bigger picture? Is it worth it? What would a caring friend say to me right now? What advice would I give to a friend in this situation? These can be hard habits to break, so be prepared to keep noticing and challenging them. But eventually we begin to switch from our anxious brain to our rational brain. Good luck and keep trying.